What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I wanna focus on the best blogging platforms that you can use as a beginner. Now I know on this channel I focus on a lot of different website tools, everything from like Wix and Squarespace, like professional website builders, to WordPress, Blogger, Google Sites, etc. Because I know that one size doesn't fit all. We all have different wants and needs and specific use cases. So sometimes one platform may be better than another. So in this video, I specifically want to narrow in and focus in on blogging. What are the best blogging platforms? What are the different use cases? Why should you use this platform? platform over this platform, etc. So let's get to it. Number one is WordPress.com. So the .com version of WordPress is a website builder because there's the .org version. So you see in a lot of tutorial videos, like with mine, for example, oh, start with Bluehost and build your WordPress powered website. And people get confused that, oh, we're talking about WordPress.com. No, this is a website builder. It's really bad marketing how they have these two services named the same thing now what wordpress.com is is just full access to wordpress but you're on their own uh specific uh shared servers okay and so that's what you're kind of paying for so it's a combination of a web host a domain name register content management system all built into one thing it's a website builder so that's what website builders are now this is an okay starting point for people because you know you can get you can jump in the wordpress you can use the gutenberg block editor you can kind of get a feel for wordpress but my main issue is that long term this is just too expensive so for example we take a look at their various pricing plans so we have personal premium business and e-commerce now in my opinion, as a content creator and as a professional blogger, and I'm not saying that <laughs> sounds so arrogant, but I'm just saying like as someone who does this stuff for a living, the only viable option is the business plan because the business plan uh, come down. Let's scroll down here. So right here, install plugins and extend the functionality of your site. So you have to pay $25 a month for one website just to be able to install any theme that you want and any plugin that you want. Whereas like right now you can just jump over to like Bluehost or SiteGround or Name Hero or whatever and pay a much lower fee, have multiple websites and use WordPress and have full featured, full access to it. So that's why everyone's always says like go with a shared host, but it's totally up to you. Like if you really just want something that's really simple, easy to use, not technical where you don't have to set anything up, then using WordPress.com is pretty good because the premium plans all right over here. Now you are kind of limited with the, you know, plugins and themes, like everything's kind of built in, the themes are all built in. But this, for me, this is a deal breaker because the main uh, plugin that I like is uh, Yoast SEO, which gives you a little bit more control over the on-page SEO of your website. And I also like using something like Pretty Links to make nice looking affiliate links and kind of cloak everything, but also just for tracking on the back end. And you can't do any of that stuff with premium plan because you can't install plugins. And so for me, that's why it's kind of a deal breaker. So. This plan is good if you're just looking to have a casual blog, that sort of thing, and that you're you're cool with just like paying a little bit, little bit of a small fee, and it's just a personal website. Uh, then I would maybe consider the premium plan. But for most people who want to build an income generating web property, you're going to have to use the business plan. And again, for me, that's just a little bit expensive at twenty five dollars a month. But again, totally up to you. I'm just trying to help you make a purchase decision. Anyways, that is it for number one, WordPress.com. Number two is WordPress.org. Now, I have another video on this channel you can check out if you want to know, like, what's the difference between .org and the .com version of WordPress. But anyways, this whole page exists just, you know, as a sales page for WordPress. So this is the open source software, okay, that you install on a shared host. And so what's a shared host? You have to go somewhere like Bluehost, which is an independent web host. And you go here, you click on Get Started. And then over here, you choose a hosting package then you submit payments, and then you have your own server, and then you can install WordPress. And so right down here, this is why you'd want to do this, because like with with Bluehost, you can start at $5.45 a month. Yeah, yeah, it renews at $16.99, but you can lock this price in at a 36-month term. That's fantastic for multiple years. And top features, unlimited websites. Like with WordPress.com, it was literally for one website that price point. Whereas this, you can pay, you can be paying five forty five multiple websites, 
you know, and this plan I like the most because this is enough to allow you to really grow and scale your website up to like a, over a thousand visitors a day. And then if you want to move away from Bluehost and go to a little bit more of a professional level web host that's geared for like large high traffic websites, you can do that. But Bluehost is the number one recommended web host because they are like the best. They are one of the best shared hosts for just beginners because they make everything very easy and simple and intuitive setting up WordPress. It's easy. The SSL certificate's automatically done for you. Very simple. And then once you have everything set up, you're going to be on the back end of your website. This is WordPress. It's functionally the same as WordPress.com. Okay. So you get access to the Gutenberg editor, multiple websites, and most importantly, you can install whatever theme you want. So you can install any type of theme any type of plugin. You're not limited in any way. And so anyways, that's uh, number two, wordpress.org. Number three is blogger.com. I love blogger, obviously, because I use it and I have a bunch of tutorial videos on blogger. Now, is it the perfect blogging platform? No, absolutely not. So a blogger website is not going to rank as well as a WordPress website. So if you want to build an income generating web, web property, you definitely want to go with like Bluehost and install WordPress and go that route. But if you want to set up some type of a like casual personal blog that makes a little bit of money on the back end as just a creative outlet, Blogger is just wonderful. And to get started, it is really easy. You just come over here, just click on this orange button that says create your blog. Then all you have to do is sign in with a Gmail account. And that is it. And then once you're signed in, all you have to do is buy a domain name from like Namecheap, then set it up on the back end to set a custom domain name. So I'm paying for my domain name, but I'm not paying for web hosting. Like this website, I'm not paying for web hosting at all. Now I have, again, a tutorial video on this channel about how to properly set up a blogger blog that you can check out, but it's a full on website. Like there's no limits. It's not like wordpress.com where you have to pay $4 a year in order to set a custom domain name. No, you can just do it with blogger for free and you can engage in various monetization strategies. So as you see over here, we have ads that's being populated by Google auto ads. And so I'm making like, nah, not that much, but like a dollar a day, <laughs> nothing much, but Hey, okay, I'll take it a dollar a day from a completely free website, free in the sense I'm not paying for web hosting, not the domain name. And that's it, and you can gauge in other monetization strategies. So we come over here, we have this blog post where I talk about uh, a vlogging camera that I really like. And so it runs ads within the post over there. So it gets clicks over here. We have uh, affiliate links for the you know specific camera that I'm talking about, etc. Okay, and so that's why I kind of want to just uh, mention this because it's a full website. You can gauge in affiliate marketing, and you can run ads. Now it's not perfect. So for example, like there's no way to cloak affiliate links per se. So what I mean by that is you can't. I can't make it like edgedave.com slash uh, product and then have it redirect to the product. You have to use the uh, raw affiliate link unless you want to use something like Bitly in order to like cloak it. You could guess you could do that. But again, this is just for personal use. That's why I would recommend Blogger. And you can just do whatever you want. So like over here, I have a Skillshare course because I do post courses on Skillshare and Skillshare is now a $300 a month income source for me that I'm continually trying to grow. And this is just one helpful little way because it's like there's a blogger blog. Hey, here's a Skillshare course on how to make a blogger blog. Like it kind of ties in together. And so it's really helpful and really fun little creative uh, website that I've been able to build over here. And I would recommend blogger to anyone, anyone, anyone who just wants to have a, you know, a casual blogging outlet and you're not trying to build this big, massive website. And it's just fantastic because you just have to pay for the domain name and you get free web hosting. And someone else who uses it, let me go over here to Johnny FD. It's a guy I've been following. I really like uh, his YouTube channel has recently just blown up. He's went from like 8,000 subs to 60. He's now in Ukraine, hanging out with Bald and Bankrupt and Harold Balder. Uh, really good. And he's, uses, and he's using uh, Blogger. And so again, like free web hosting, got paid for the domain name. And here you go, you know, collect emails, engage in affiliate marketing, run ads, full on website. The Again, the only issue is that blogger blogs don't rank as well as a WordPress website. Okay. That's literally the main drawback. Uh, but otherwise it's a full website for ideal for casual use. So anyways, that's number three blogger.com. Number four is Wix. Yeah. Wix, that website builder. They actually have vastly improved their blogging aspect of their website builder to rival WordPress, to be honest with you. I'm quite impressed because I checked out Wix years ago and I wasn't that impressed. It was really focused on design and the layout and the look. But from a technical standpoint, the blogging was pretty weak. Not anymore. It's really good. So here I'm logged into my account. Let's go over here and create a new post. 
and then boom the sleepwalking aspect so you can create a title paragraph we come over here to click add very intuitive and easy to add in galleries videos gifs images just drag and drop into place we also you also have granular control over your seo so you oh let's x out of that you have your granular control over your seo so you can change the uh page title the url slug seo title all those essential little things that you need to do that you can do within wordpress you can do with wix and even like categories and tags they've included now social shares so like when people share your blog posts on like facebook or somewhere you can change how it looks specifically anyways one thing i really like too that doesn't get enough attention in my opinion is the ability to content lock your blog posts and create some type of like subscription service and this is just integrated within wix so what this is like if we come over here to mr mark mason's website and so if we scroll down right here what you're going to see is that it says members only so this is content locked so you have to subscribe to his site in order to be able to read this blog post and with wix you can do that like right here you can set up your own little payment plan and content lock everything so you have private blog post people have to subscribe to the website now the only issue that i have with the blogging aspect is that they don't have any type of like redirection functionality built in so you can't have like something like mywebsite.com slash product name and have it redirect via the affiliate link if that makes any sense you have to use like bitly or use the uh, you know straight affiliate links so that's something that they really need to add they need to add in that ability to set up redirects and if they just did that it'd be perfect it'd be literally like a perfect blogging platform for a website builder and then let's just take a look so here's the website let's navigate over to the blog aspect and there you go okay so it's a blog nothing fancy and with the wix website builder you can just completely change the layout the look and feel of your website as you want so if we open up this blog post right here you know we have our content and you have specific control over how everything is displayed so if you for example we come up top there it says the author name the date if you just want to get rid of this and hide everything you can hide everything at the click of a button so you have full control over the way your blog looks and each how each individual blog post looks and that's why i really like wix literally my only issue with wix is just the lack of ability to set up uh any type of like url redirects for link managing your affiliate links uh otherwise it's a fantastic blogging platform and something that you should be aware of if you're considering going with wix uh to create any type of like blogging website so anyways that's number four wix number five is squarespace.com so yeah squarespace you can totally blog now with it. squarespace and wix are kind of the same with regards to their blogging aspect but they are actually wildly different website builders so with wix i would describe it as like an unstructured editor where you can kind of move the on-page elements to wherever you want squarespace is a little bit more focused on templates and replacing elements within the templates and changing colors really kind of simple uh, but really effective and nice for a beginner anyways let's take a look at caleb wajek he's using wix his website looks awesome let's navigate over to his blog section and right here this is his uh, squarespace blog this looks great so you have a title of the blog specific description of what the people can expect your different categories let's take a look at a blog post the url structure is really nice we have slash blog slash post title one column design looks great so it's a very minimalistic blogging experience but it's very effective so anyways that's number five squarespace number six is tumblr.com so tumblr i would describe as like an alternative to blogger.com in the sense that it's like a free blogging platform you can set up a website you can set a custom domain name and then it's easy just to publish content it's really not that hard and it comes with a lot of helpful tools that just make everything easy so from text photos quotes chat audio video etc uh like they said you can put anything you want here really easy it's really nice videos audio chat etc and so a good example of a tumblr blog is like this like all that is interesting this is a, a basic tumblr blog here's your menu here's the logo here are the pieces of content again nothing too fancy it's again like that's why i said it's like blogger if you just want a casual little creative outlet where you're not trying to like make money from it you just want to share something etc maybe build an audience have some type of like blogging platform we can set a custom domain name uh then you want to maybe consider checking out tumblr so anyways that's number six tumblr number seven is ghost.org so this website's pretty amazing it was launched back in 2013 on kickstarter of all things and it was primarily designed to focus on creating a platform for journalists so 
Let's jump over here to their about page, creating the future of independent publishing, nonprofit organization building open source technology for journalism. That's how this site got its start. That's what ghost.org was founded on. But over time, they've really kind of pivoted away from that. And they're more about just made for independent creators and writers, as it says over here. That's really what ghost.org is all about. It's sort of like having you allowing you to build your own small uh, publishing company with a primary focus on subscriptions. So let's jump over here to their showcase. And right over here, we can check out like the browser. And then this is a very successful website. So web page design by ghost, uh, come down here, we have their blog posts, and then we have a bunch of different options to subscribe to the website. And that's it. And all this is powered by ghost.org. So let's jump over back to the resources. So they have a bunch of helpful aspects like integrations with 1000s of apps and services for their website, product updates, themes, marketplace, etc. So let's just jump, jump over here to the integration section. And they have a bunch of popular integrations with numerous companies very easily. And last, let's take a look at their pricing, like how much does this all cost? So it's pretty affordable. Actually, we come down here, the starter plan is just $9 a month. Again, keep in mind that this is for one website at a time. So it's not like a shared host like Bluehost where you can have multiple websites, one website per plan. But you can start a 14 day free trial to see if Ghost is for you. But anyways, I really like this as a unique alternative blogging platform with more of a focus on the subscription revenue model for publishers. But anyways, that's number seven, ghost.org. And number eight is medium.com. So I think a lot of you are familiar with this website because uh, it kind of integrates well with Twitter. And yeah, I've used medium in the past. It's always been like a subdomain of medium, just a place to share thoughts of like whatever I wanted. But medium has definitely changed over time. So first thing that they now have is a type of membership. So you can upgrade to a membership for $5 a month or $50 a year. And so it's sort of kind of working like a Skillshare revenue model because over here you can sign up and become an actual content creator. Okay. And you can earn money for your writing. So let me just back out of this a little bit. And so we come over here and we can set your ideas in motion. Boom. You can start writing, create a free account and get going. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and apply to the partner program. And so you get paid based on how many people read your content. And so if those people are paying members and you get, you know, you earn credit towards getting paid exactly like Skillshare. If anyone's on Skillshare, it's like as a creator on Skillshare, you make money by the premium minutes people watch. Same type of deal, not necessarily minutes, but like if a paying member over here is reading your content, that's how you get paid. And last, you can set custom names. So this is great because now you can actually use this sort of like as a blocking platform. You have that backend ability to earn money from your writing through the partner program and you can set a custom domain name. So it doesn't have to be like mywebsite.medium.com. It could be whatever you want it to be. So overall, I think this is a very unique offering uh, for you know anyone who wants to just blog. You're a writer and you don't want to get into design. Uh, I think Medium is an interesting website to look at and it may be the right blogging platform for you. So anyways, that's number eight, medium.com. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video on the best blogging platforms and their specific use cases to help you decide which one should you go with over the other. Now, I've been getting a few emails from people asking me like, what is this thing? <laughs> like people see this on my desk sometimes, I focus in on it. That, this is the Sony X3000. I personally like to travel vlog with this, so I hold it. I'm one of those guys walking around with a camera pointed at me. Uh, just because I shoot with a Canon 90D on all these videos and you know, Canon 90D or a mirrorless camera, I don't know. I just don't like having a big, heavy setup. I usually like to just go with something really small and light, so that's why I like that uh, Sony X3000. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I hope you enjoyed the video on these best blogging platforms. My name is David, WebsiteCreatorPro.com. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.